There's no question about the need for doctors, but there is concern about medical students completing their full training. 24 Hour News 8's Ann Schieber is looking into how having another medical school could play into that. She's live and on the Medical Mile in Grand Rapids now. Ann? Well, Sue, just because you graduate from medical school, you're not a full-fledged doctor yet. You have to get your clinical training and then a license. And the fear is that there's not going to be enough residency programs, the clinical training, to accommodate all those new medical school graduates. Kevin Daisy and Joel Krause are graduating from medical school this spring. But the big deal was last week when they learned they would be doing their residency at the University of Michigan in pediatrics and emergency medicine. That was our number one, my number one choice. Well, I was a little bit worried at the more competitive programs, but um, I was never worried about not having a spot to go to. But finding a residency program, let alone a first choice one, may not be such a slam dunk in the future. U.S. medical schools are graduating more students, about 25 percent more. The decision to expand medical schools was taken without enough attention being paid to what happens after medical school. Few people are aware of it, but the federal government, through Medicare, pays for residency training. It is an expensive process, about $9.5 billion a year, and one not likely to grow. In these times, in our tough economic climate, it's difficult to free up additional funds to put into uh, the, the Medicare program uh, to fund more positions. Currently, Michigan graduates about 700 medical students a year. With Western Michigan coming on board and new medical schools at Central and Beaumont Hospital in Detroit, that number could jump to 1,000 by 2014. It's going to be very hard to offer all of those uh, Michigan kids opportunities to complete their residency training in the state and we're running the risk of losing them. Studies show that medical students typically practice within 150 miles of where they do their clinical training. That is not good news for Michigan, which projects a shortage of 4,500 doctors within nine years. Now, some hospitals are funding their own residency programs, and the hope is that hospitals will become more efficient with the training money they already do get. And the residency shortage is not just something that communities need to worry about, but medical students who typically carry a debt load of $150,000. And I'm sure a lot of them are a little nervous that they will not be able to complete their training to become a doctor. We're live overlooking Medical Mile and Schieber, 24-hour News 8.